everyone i am welcoming you all once again to this channel so in today's session we will see how to add termination to different different magazine slab so uh, here i am going to open this v2co2 where the termination we are having here is oxygen so i am opening that in my uh, vesta software so you can see So uh, here as you can see that this is the uh, V2CO2 unit cell and if I will show you from different angle it is looking like this. So these big red color atoms are vanadium and this these are oxygen and these are carbons. If you want to make the slab and see the next version of this then you can go to here and unit cell and here we can do the transformation thing and here i am doing 331 okay yes search atoms okay apply so this way you can see the slab so this way it formed and this is the v2co2 and okay now so this is b and this is c and these are oxygen termination on both the side okay so um, before uh, uh, doing all this let's see how these atoms are arranged so i am opening that uh, postcard file here so you can see the first part is this is our uh, scaling factor and this is our lattice parameters and here as we know that this a equal to b here uh, you can also see the same from here in the summary that a is equal to this like a equal to a equal to b is equal to 9.03824 and here also uh, and this a bx is nothing but a cos theta and this is a sin theta and next is these are the atoms which we are having so first atom is c as we are having only single layer of carbon so c only c1 and two oxygen and two vanadium and here you can see how the atoms are arranged so in the normal slab if our slab is having uh, only b and c without o then we can simply write this three coordinates the first one for a carbon and the second two for like the last two for of vanadium so that also i will show you here so before that let me do undo here so that we can have the same yeah so this is the same unit cell so before doing any edi addition uh, like editing into that file so i am going to export the same in terms of uh, okay this i can save it and yeah, i can also save the same in postcard or I can also yes a postcard but with uh, any coordinate you want here I am choosing Cartesian coordinate okay and let's go there and see that which file we have saved so right now we have saved this one it was earlier uh, there and this one we have saved so let's open this relax dot bus so I have opened here so now if I will do this change like if I will modify this so here I have changed this I, have, I mean I have removed here this oxygen I am removing here uh, and next uh, next two coordinates after carbon we have to delete so that we can have our V2C layer and actually i was earlier from earlier i was having this layer that's why i am coming uh, re, uh, like uh, reversely okay let's save the same okay so uh, next i'm going to open the same using our vesta so okay so here you can see that this is nothing but our v2c layer and uh, after doing this transformation thing we can make it we can see it in a better way better way so i am doing the same transformation here also and okay yes apply okay so now you can see this is the same v2 uh, v2c layer and also here if you want to add bonds uh, here we can add new bonds then bonds between carbon and vanadium 
and click on apply so no bonds are coming that means if we will increase this bond length then it may came no now not for this value okay 2.2 yeah it came so this way we can add bonds to our layer and you can check that this is just a two layer uh, system like a single layer with two vanadium like v2 and c without termination so here as we have removed oxygen atoms so oxygen atoms are not present over here and same way you can save your file and you can export it to any file you want so that's fine next part is what so similarly as we have modified our postcard over uh, like a postcard file here also we can all we can do modification to our postcard file so i am uh, i am uh, copying the same file this relax file to another suppose a new file i am saving it to new wasp okay so i am opening this new wasp here so instead of o if i will write this o as f so what will happen so another atom that means here we don't want oxygen to be our termination we want fluorine to be our termination so this way we can modify and simply save the same and try to open the same using your vesta software so i am opening it here okay now see that the same here instead of oxygen fluorine came and uh, it will look better of course after doing this uh, uh, like transformation thing over here so i am every time i am doing the same thing uh, so okay so now see that it's the same layer like the same layered kind of structure of uh, three layer v c v and fluorine fluorine on both side okay so uh, this way we can have our termination so any termination you want like any single uh, uh, atomic termination you want you can do like this now the next thing is if you want chlorine fluorine from anything you want you can do like this from oxygen and also the, the the numbers like the atomic positions can vary so that that can be uh, normalized during the optimization process so once you can create your unit cell then you can uh, optimize that so that you can get your actual uh, postcard or concar file out of it then after that you can perform this transformation matrix and other thing you can do and for the calculation you can also do after that okay so next part is what next we, we want to add this oh uh, this oxygen like single atomic terminations are normally simply easy but what about two atoms if we want c o h or o o h that kind of then what we will do so for this before doing oh bond uh, we need to know how much is the bond length between o and h so here i have searched oh bond length so the bond length between o and h is coming out to be 0.96 so as we you if you want to see here okay there is okay i am searching over here about this oh bond okay you see that this oh bond is nothing but just just a straight bond like there is no obviously only two atoms so the angle from every side will be 180 degree only so they can't make any different angle so what we want so if o atom is here then at a certain distance this uh, if o atom is here at a certain distance h atom will come that means here we have to simply translate along a particular direction so which direction that we have to figure out okay now i am going to do the same copying thing here so see i am copying this relax file to uh, uh, oh termination okay turn that wasp Uh, then after this OH termination, I am going to open this OH term bus over here, and here we can add our hydrogen atom. So here I am writing H here. After O, I am writing H. Next, uh, we want to have two ox two hydrogen, and here what we will do after oxygen coordinates i will add this hydrogen coordinates okay so here we have to add this but 
now after doing all this what we have to do we have to actually before doing all this we have to save this file to cartesian file because all this modification can be valid only otherwise our atomic positions will be differ so before doing all this i am going to uh, save the same file in the form of a cartesian coordinate uh, okay so yeah i am opening this vista with relax and open it i am here going to save this file as face no, the name i am giving oh okay save cartesian okay so fine so earlier thing which i have done now the same thing i am going to repeat over here so this oh bus i have opened now here we like anywhere you can add i am adding uh, here only you can add even after o v and like nothing will be matter okay o h and here we will also do the same two atoms and here after two oxygen we want to add our next layer so what we can see over here that if our we want to add oxygen like i want to add hydrogen after oxygen so what we have to do the same oxygen coordinate we have to repeat but the z axis will be deferred by somewhat value okay so the same thing i am going to repeat over here so if if you can copy the same thing that will be okay so i am going to copy this so uh, i am going to copy this instead of copy i did paste okay copy and yeah the paste option is working so i can copy the entire uh, coordinate okay this and the next thing also we have to do the same uh, coordinate we have to copy like here i am copying the o2 coordinate and here i will do the paste thing okay now what we have to do next as we have seen that this oh bond has a separation of 0.94 i think uh, yeah 0.96 angstrom so we have to simply add this number to the x coordinate okay i am going to search my calculator yeah so uh, here the coordination uh, for oxygen we have is this one okay this plus 0.96 this is how much this is 14 point something okay <coughs> so next go and change this z coordinate only so 14 point 665008270 zero you can add okay next one is 9 point here also we have to add our that value plus 0.96 so this is all what i am doing to show you only that's it otherwise there is no such need of uh, using calculator and all so 37968 31 and zero after this okay so now our o like the hydrogen atom and its coordinate both are added next what we will do let's save the file okay i have saved now open the same using our vista software and oh 
which bars I am opening. Okay, so let's see what's happened. Uh, here, yeah. So now see what happened. So here, uh, this O, this H is going up and this H is going down. That means here we have to flip our coordinate. Instead of adding O H, adding this bond length, uh, we have to subtract this so that it can go back. Okay. So uh, which atom is this? First we have to click over here and uh, click on this which atom is this one this one is o2 so for o2 coordinate the second hydrogen coordinate which we have uh, created here in uh, instead of adding 0.96 we can subtract here i am going to do the same minus 0 0.96 okay so this value is 8.4 so i am coming so this value for second hydrogen will be eight point four five nine six eight three one and zero at the end. Okay, zero zero. Eight point four five nine six eight three one zero zero okay fine so now uh, save the same and open the same using vista now we can see the changes what have what happened actually yeah now our structure is ready now you check over here that uh, okay let me make the uh, uh, yeah phage unit cell transformation matrix 331 okay yes yes okay apply then okay okay now you can check that so this is what we wanted that is our the magazine of b2c with oh termination that is b2c oh hole 2 and this way this magazine is formed and okay so this way whatever termination you want you can simply adjust that using the bond or angle and like considering all the criteria which which it is fulfilling so by this you can add termination to your magazine surface that termination can be a single atomic termination by like do double atomic termination or any other termination okay so i hope you guys are understanding this actually this uh, video is quite uh, longer i i think but it's okay uh, i think i have explained it uh, how like whatever you wanted so thank you all and bye bye